Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today we are going to play with the form and come up with this hollow construction. Are you ready? Let's get started. Before we get into the model, I would like to remind you if you haven't joined the membership, there are a lot of my secret modeling tricks that I share with the member only. Hope to see you there. That's starting at the top view. We're gonna use the rectangle tool and there's a conic corner on the rectangle. And I wanna starting with the center. Let's type a zero here. And um, pulling the shift is going to make a square. And I'm going to come in a little bit to make this uh, pillow looking shape over here. Second thing that we wanted to do is to kind of join a curve from the center going up. It's roughly about this size. I'm going to draw another curve coming over here and a curve snapping into the end point coming down here. So that will be my reference line there. What I like to do with those reference line is I'm going to blend the curve from this end to this end. So that way we'll get the curve there. We no longer need this reference line, so I'm just going to delete them. To creating the surface, we are going to using rail revolve. And this is the profile, this is the rail, and we're gonna go from here to here. And then that's how we get that first shape. Now coming to the top, you can do all kind of a cutout that you like. I personally like to do something more symmetrical. So I'm going to have a circle over there, maybe a little bit smaller like this. And I'm going to um, using the polar array, snapping into the zero and I want to fold them in, uh, fold in 360 degree. So then I have this curve, this, this, and this, and we are going to use the trim command to trim off this one, this one, this one, and this one. So now I have the shape on the surface. We are going to turn it into the solid. Let's go ahead to use the offset surface. And we want to offset this surface. You can flip the direction you want. I want them to offset inside. And I do want a solid equal yes, and then you hit enter, then that's the shape that you're going to get. I'm going to do the second layer, and the second layer needs to be a little bit smaller. So I'm going to duplicate it, this edges over here, and we are going to offset again. This time, when we are offsetting, we not just offset the curve, we want to offset the curve on the surface. So the offset curve on the surface is the command we wanted to use. It's going to ask you which surface. So we're going to pick up this surface and notice that the uh, arrow is pointing out into the hole that we want to flip it so it will coming out there. The thickness is up to you. I might want to do 0.7. So then I will get a curve over there. Okay, so now with this curve, because it's all symmetrical, I'm going to use the polar array and we are going to set it up zero and for again four of them 360 degree and then we'll get this curve here okay so now that we have the curve i'm going to uh, create another surface by extract this surface and also this surface okay so that's join back together and turning into the red color all right, so I need to make a duplication. Let's do copy and paste, control C and control V and hiding one of them. And let's go ahead to join back this one and bring back the surface that we have. I just don't want to make a mistake. So that's hiding the solid that we have over there. So now we wanted to do is pick up the curve we just created by offset on the surface and then we want to use it to trim this surface over here, here, here on all four direction. So now we have this one that's making into the solid by offset the surface one more time. This time that's offset outside. So if we turn it back to the one that we have, then this is the shape that we have. It is now up to you how you like to trim it inside. I basically, so let me hide this one and we're gonna pick up this curve, 
this one, this one, and this one. And let me bring them into other layer. So it's easier for us to see by just those curves. I'm going to flatten those curves by project to the C plane and I want to delete the input. So now those are my curve and they are flat. I simply just want to draw a circle to be something like this. And I'm going to select everybody to trim the area that I don't need and join them. Let's bring back the shape that we have and see if it is going to be too thin or too thick. All right, so if I cut in here, it might be a little bit too close to the edge. So I'm going to change my design a little bit again by offset this surface inside a little bit. All right, so now this is a new curve. And if that is working for you, just go ahead to make it into the solid. So I'm going to extrude this tray over there. And we want to cut a hole out. So that's using the bowling difference. This and this will be difference out by this guy. We simply want to rotate this guy for 45 degree. And that's what we are going to get. If you have those two to mirror to the other side and make sure you bowling those two and these two are bowling together. So now you will have this B going this way. You can make them as a B or making this a earring or setting the stone right in the middle. Please like and comment and share my video so I can reach more people. Thank you for watching. See you next.